Hello, Flame community. This is Jeff Kyle with the Flame Learning Channel. The Flame 2025.1 update introduces a powerful new tagging system designed to simplify media management in our projects. In this video, we'll cover the ins and outs of the new tagging features, including how to apply, manage, and search for tags. To start, right-clicking on any media here in the media panel, on the desktop, or in the timeline, we can see a new menu item called Tags. Here, we can choose to add tags to whatever we've selected. When I do so on this clip here, we're met with this window where we can choose to add either a single tag or multiple tags separated by commas. When we're satisfied with our list of tags, hitting Enter adds these tags to our list. Now, when I hit Done, when I Alt-click on a clip to show more information, we can see the tags we just set up right at the bottom, separated by a hash sign, and we can also see it here in the media panel in this Tags column. If I select the rest of these clips in this reel, right-click, Tags, and Add Existing Tags, I can add any one of these tags that I just set up onto the rest of my selected clips. One important note is that tags set in the media panel are separate from tags set in the timeline, although in both places the process is the same. I have a sequence right here where I can select a handful of segments, right-click, Tags, Add Tags, and follow the same process as before. I'll hit Enter and Done, and now Alt-clicking on these segments shows the tags I just set up, and we can also see them if I expand this horizontal view to see more of the segment information. One other way to add tags is via a copy and paste menu. If I copy a clip with the tags I want to use, when I go to paste onto a different clip, we now have the option to paste the tags, making it quite easy to send a bunch of tags from one clip to any number of other clips. If we need to adjust any existing tags, I can head back to the right-click menu, Tags, and Manage Tags, where we get this window that allows us to right-click and rename or delete a tag. In the timeline, we're able to modify multiple segments at once, but at this time, we can only modify one object at a time in the media panel. Once our tags are set up, one of the key features here is the ability to search in various parts of the application to find clips associated with specific tags. We can do so here in the Media Panel at the bottom under the Search button here. This opens up the Media Panel Search, where we can specify to search for tags, which also opens up the Operator field to allow for some more advanced search options. The AND OR operator is used to search for multiple tags separated by commas. For example, if I search for the watch and hand tags, the OR operator will show me all of the clips that have either the watch tag or the hand tag. But if I switch the operator to AND, then I'll only see the clips that have both the watch and hand tags. The Include Segments button refers to the fact that there is a difference between the media panel tags and the timeline segment tag, and this button lets us specify whether or not we want to include the tag timeline segments or just the tag media panel clips. The other area we can search for tags is in the timeline. This search button down here pulls up the timeline search box where we can now search for tags, and then when we choose how we want to select them, they'll be selected in our current sequence. Jumping into the metadata overlay menu over here under this dropdown and edit setup, we can see a new tags option right here where we have a few display options for how the tags will appear here in the metadata overlay. We have all of the familiar metadata overlay settings on top of the ability to choose whether we look at the segment tags or the timeline clip tags, and three options for how the tags are positioned. Line up, stack down, and stack up. Finally, we have a few options for how tags respect syncing when we're using any connected conform features. If we head over to the preferences and look under user, timeline, and this connected segment section, we have a new button that lets us specify whether tags are synced to other connected segments. It's on by default, meaning that for segments that are connected, when a tag is added to one segment, it's automatically added to any other connected segment. Hopefully all of this gives you a good insight into how to use the new tagging system in your next project. If you like these videos and you're finding them helpful, please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel and click the bell to stay notified about new content. Feel free to comment any questions or suggestions below. Until next time, thanks a bunch for watching.